Some dance historians have named Katherine Dunham the most important woman in African-American dance. Dunham was one of the first modern dance pioneers in her own right, combining cultural grounded dance movements with elements of ballet. Dunham did not begin her formal study of dance until her time at the University of Chicago, where she earned her bachelor, master's, and doctoral degrees in anthropology, and became a student of Ludmilla Speranziva, formerly of the Moscow Theater. In the 1930s, with the financial contribution of the Rosenwald Foundation, she completed a 10-month investigation into the dance cultures of the Caribbean. She brought what she learned back to America, developing a new revolutionary aesthetic that merged the rhythms of cultural dances with certain components of ballet. She was a pioneer in the use of folk and ethnic choreography, and one of the founders of the anthropological dance movement. Her rise to widespread fame came with her 1939 performance in a program called Tropics and Le Jazz Hot. It was supposed to be a one-night event, but demand was such that Dunham ended up doing 13 weeks for two decades, from the 1940s to the 1960s. Dunham's dance company toured the world from the United States to Europe, to Latin America, to Asia and Australia. Katherine Dunham is credited with developing one of the most important pedagogues for teaching dance that is still used throughout the world. Called the Matriarch of Black Dance, her groundbreaking repertoire combined innovative interpretations of Caribbean dances, traditional ballet, African rituals, and African-American rhythms to create the Dunham Technique. She was a woman far ahead of her time. Her technique was a way of life. This was another episode of Break the Facts. Thank you for watching.